guys, he work like here. You know, hate mail. So, you know, hate doing hate more hate mail because you guys apparently like these you know videos watch these videos so much you don't like them you, know, you hate them of course well that's fine uh but you watch them you watch them a lot therefore I, i'm gonna make more lots more and then probably the issue is of course uh i gotta make sure i i can be in an environment that uh basically is more uh you know my mom will take my mom or my brother off I didn't do this stuff because they're not big fans of me causing all this controversy online. So yeah, basically doing it up here, and it's gonna be great. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's, you're doing hate mail live, hate mail live, hang out. Basically, the same rules apply. Okay, mm. same rules apply. The words penis, vagina, uterus, ovaries, testicles, and vulva will be used in a lot of these things, uh, as well as many other word euphemisms for the those parts. Uh, also, um, there will be, will be cussing in the uh, the cool thing is there will be cussing in the uh, comments. I have I have the phone right I have a phone right here with the comments screenshots of the comments on here. Uh, but yeah, I blanked out the names because I don't want any names other than my own, so that uh, there will be no witch hunting or people say uh, that I'm slandering them or defaming them or something like that. Unless, of course, you want to say that when you hear what I'm saying here and then, like, out yourself. <laughs> you can do that if you want, but most likely you won't. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's what, one of the cool things about this. Also, you don't even get to see, you guys don't even get to see the stuff. This one. I get to see it and I get to relate it to you guys and we get to go, oh yeah, first and foremost, I forgot. There's another thing we need to do and we're going to do that now. And that is... Start. We'll try this out. Slightly shorter parts, but yeah, we're gonna make a few of them. So let's go. In no particular order, talking about much media for hate mail, other than the one my friend, uh, that story booth video, my friend kept a huge secret from me. Mm, okay, we already did a hate mail on that one, so that's all done. So now I can move on to a new one. Let's go here. No particular order, zooming in. Let's see here. Okay, someone says, with the way men are treated in North America, I'm not sure that's a bad thing. Now, that, uh, you know, it's no particular order, so I don't know what's going on here, but yeah, it's, it's really great. Let's get the order. I say, well, you didn't need to transition because, right on, I say, you didn't need to transition because the things you wanted are readily available for both men and women. Then I say, uh, Jesus also told people to stop sinning. Lying about what biological sex you are is sinning. If you are, we are supposed to speak the truth in love, and I am. I will. I never say that God hates them because He doesn't. But I do say that God does not like what they are doing because they are sinning. It's just true. Lying is sinning. Uh, uh, preferred pronouns are lies. So yeah, we gotta say that. Let's continue on. Yeah, and this person says, uh, "If you're all lies, yes, that's true. But you shouldn't be saying it in such a way that speaks out that." They're not, not that you know, seeks out that you're not welcoming others. Okay, that's a little interesting there. Not welcoming others. So, what, what does that mean? Well, let's get to give you what it says. Like, the truth is spoken later. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> but welcoming is first, which is not good. You know, you don't want to do that. Now, of course, I will, if someone's like, yeah, I, this horrible thing happened to me, you know, if someone says, oh no, you know, uh, someone attacked me. Like, someone, you know, this horrible thing happened to me. Well, you know, someone push, push me around. What do I do? Mm, you know, then I'll say, yeah, you know, basically tell somebody and keep telling them. No matter who, if you know, tell somebody, keep telling people, keep telling them, spread the word to someone actually listens, you know, to, to like that. Because uh, you know, this, is, this is not cool. If you don't say anything, it's going to keep happening. You know, I will say that. Even if that person is a person, a boy, a person with testicles, who's dressing up like a girl, person with ovaries. Uh, trying to look like a girl, or some of the reasons, and uh, you know, basically getting pushed around because of that. <laughs> Even then, I'll be like, yeah, don't do, you know, don't do that. <laughs> don't be saying you're a girl. Don't be uh, lying and saying you're a girl. Don't be messing around saying this stuff. <laughs> you know, doing this other stuff here. You know, but you know, bullying is not not cool either. <laughs> if you're just hanging out in your normal clothing, all right, and some dude, you know, someone just coming at you. <laughs> Messing around with you—that's not good either. That's not good either, you know. If it's because of your race or how you look, what you like, you know, the, you know, certain activities you like doing, and someone hates on you for those, then something's wrong with them. You know, you know, you know that's not, so you know, that's not right. You know, I'll say, but yeah, you know, that's why it goes. But anyways, this person says, uh, "That's why I'm saying that you shouldn't bash it. I will bash tra the transgender belief system till the cows come home, <laughs> because that stuff is deadly. People have died because of this crap. They think there's no way out other than death, and they, that's, that's not good. No, it's not true. Let's continue on." Because then again, they could see the Lord as an evil, unwelcoming guy. Mm -mm. 
when it's not true. But no, no. In a way, they can see him as someone who's like, okay, the God, you know, according to what this person's saying, and the Bible verses he uses to reference what he is saying. God does not like when people do this particular thing. You know, I want to do this particular thing, therefore I'm 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 angry at God because of that. You know, there you go. I'm sorry, that that right there is fine. I have no problem. If they see um, they'll say they're saying, no, God, God, He wants me to die because you know He's saying I can't do this and I I want to do this so bad. This this feel, feel good and if I don't have this feeling, I'll die. I'm like, um, no, you won't. <laughs> you resist. That stuff. Ugh. Resist sin, resist that temptation. You'll be fine. You know, it will not be a fun, but it'll, you'll be fine because it's important to resist that stuff because that's the lead to death. Continue on. Uh, what are you talking about? Because uh, it would be also good if you explained why it is a sin in the first place. Uh, so they say it's a sin. Yes, I do. I have my verses, my Bible verses. I go through people, you know, they sit with people's testimonies, talk about how uh, when they were young, uh, you know, little children. Uh, they f basically didn't like the stereotype they were assigned to that it came about with being male, well, you know, they were born with testicles or being female, they were born with ovaries and they're like, I must not be something. there must have been a mistake there must have been some type of mistake, there must have been some type of you know, problem, God made a mistake he didn't, uh, you know I don't like this stuff, therefore I must, some must, I must have been meant to be the opposite of biological sex so I'm gonna start acting like that and saying that and lying about that. No, <clears throat> that's that's there's people saying that. And I'm like, that's wrong. No, you don't need to do that. No, the stereotype is wrong. The feeling of being in the wrong body is wrong. What's going on? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, you're supposed to. There's so much to explain. Uh, there is so much to explain toward why it is, and so much to guide with to for with love. Yes, it's true, and we do, and I do. You know, you know basically, it's tough love, but it's tough. What's going on? We're supposed to guide them and help them answer the question, their questions and answer their perspective. I am not saying that we should lie. No, no, we definitely shouldn't. Uh, lying is an abomination to the Lord. They will truly are his delight. Let's continue on. Lying is what? Well, the word is like making a fool out of ourselves. As well, and only we make these words for both. But I am saying, just saying that you shouldn't be so direct with them. I, I'm sorry, I'm going to be very direct. With them. It's very important to do that. No miss words. You know, invite them. How? We're only we're we're in the same space right now, so it's no different. Invite them. Uh, invite them. Invite them. Invite them. That's how you start your guidance. We have to clean and clean bit by bit that same hidden diamond inside each person. Uh, saying and bashing that person without a welcome that is not. How? Get smaller, please. Mm, thank you. Mm. That is not how you invite someone towards the Lord. I'll tell you something I was taught by him. We aren't sadly perfect like him, and we're supposed to follow his guidance as well, but he knows that we'll commit certain sins over time, you know, sins over time, as well because uh, he knows that all we need to do is regret. Mm, you probably may repent, don't you? Mm. Is it the same time? Okay, go. Yeah, yeah, go, go. Mm. Yeah, yeah, this is okay. So there is an order to it. <laughs> so doing it like regret mm. oh yeah yeah we have to prefer the animal to follow the as well regret our sins we'll probably repent from our sins and be forgiven mm. stop doing that stuff mm. he is the man of the second chances and he knows it's hard to be like him but that is why he gives us time and patience to be able to be, become better mm. English is not their first language but you know this person made some good points but yeah, definitely, unfortunately, talking about niceties in ways that are um, uh, don't know help. We need to stand against this bullcrap. Mm -hmm. And then I'm sorry for my ways out of here. Okay, and I say here, I agree that it is our job to help others do better in life, but we cannot be beating around the bush. Mm -hmm. We have to tell them the truth ASAP. Here's a scripture that shows what I am doing is right. A you know, woman must not wear men's clothing, nor a man wear women's clothing for the Lord your God Test anyone who does this. Deuteronomy twenty-two five, and why would people do this? Why would people would people who do this be detested by the Lord? Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but they deal truly are His delight. Proverbs twenty twelve twenty two. These poor people think that they have to hide that they have certain body parts and lie about 
their biology so people will treat them better and that is wrong sure there will be people who don't like that what they see that is the person's fault not their bodies mm, that's, what I, that's what they say mm, that's what i say and so you know, the person comes back again and says here goes yes maybe you're doing right maybe you are really are speaking the truth but are you really going to bash over others over and over again the way that way until they listen um, basically yes mm. Uh, it takes time and effort too for people to listen, and more than the more you bash them, the less they will listen. Uh, not true. Mm -hmm. You gotta get in there. Mm -hmm. Gotta fight. Gotta go. Let's see here. They will, they will listen. You take time and effort for people to listen, and the more you get. Okay. Uh, wait. Come back. Uh, if you're not careful with your actions, not what by what you're saying, but what goes on first. With what goes first, the next you probably will end up discouraging others from accepting him. Or at least uh, ticking them off a bit. But then when they calm down and realize I'm right, <laughs> they'll read the stuff for themselves, they'll understand I'm right, and they'll hopefully start working toward resisting those feelings that are wrong. Well, those feelings, because the feelings are wrong. The body's not wrong, the feelings are wrong. Continue on. Let's hear. Give with your actions, don't be saying it quickly. So, I became a Christian and sinned a lot sometime in my life. So much that I thought I was no Christian anymore. But I was shown a welcome, warm hug, a big difference between what really, really, really felt, what really felt to be as happiness compared to then. I wasn't judged and told ASAP about the righteous truth, which is a mistake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good to know about that stuff immediately. Though, of course, it is also good to be like, hey, listen, you know, basically not to be so confrontational that is, there's no, you know, I'm sorry, I, I do get confrontational, but I do also say, yeah, you know, someone's saying, oh no, but God hates me. I'm like, no, he doesn't, <laughs> you know, he doesn't. Scripture, <laughs> here's the scripture. Oh, God does not hate you, and it's all good. <laughs> you know, someone said, someone I recently had contact with, uh, sent me some hate mail, I'll maybe eventually read, was saying, <laughs> was saying, uh, hey, <laughs> you know, I, you know, I don't know if God will accept me, and you know, I, 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 like, I bit backslid like six years ago, and I said, oh, no, look, God will accept you. It's not too late, you know, he's thinking prodigal son stuff, you know, except you, in the Bible, King David said, though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will take me in, you know, so it's not just, you know, you're, you're a monster, you're this, you're that, you know, it is, you know, this is wrong, stop it, here's what's right, do, you know, do that, you know, the Bible says, you know, uh, the way to sin is death, give to God's eternal life, in Christ Jesus, no, I Christ Jesus, no, I don't like, you gotta stop doing this stuff, this stuff is sin, it'll lead to death, you know, we are basically one of them, this is like, I'm trying to be like a police officer, a good one, you know, a good police officer, who's saying, hey, you know, you're going too fast, you know, hey, get out, get out of the way, get out, get out don't go down that way, you know, like, don't go that way, you know, you know, stay cool. You know, some people are like, hey, why are you yelling <laughs> at that person? You know, why aren't you being friendly with that person? Like, because it's immediate. Because <laughs> this danger, <laughs> you know, because this is there's immediate danger that you need to deal with immediately. You know, stop that stuff before bad things start happening. Stop it <clears throat> before the end comes, you know, before it's too late and you're dead. <clears throat> you know, stop it. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. You know, basically, you know. That's police officer stuff. That's basically what that is, you know. So I'll see you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube and even art. We're going to continue on with our hate mail stuff. Hate mail live. Mm, yeah. Mm.